Now for examples four and five of expanding logarithms. So here I have a quotient, the natural log of this quotient, the numerator is x to the fourth times the square root of the quantity x squared plus three. And in my denominator, I have the quantity x plus three raised to the fifth power. So I'm gonna start by you, uh, taking the fact that we have a quotient and that's gonna be the difference of the logs. So I have the natural log of the numerator, which is the natural log of x to the fourth times the square root of x squared plus three minus the natural log of the quantity x plus three to the fifth power. Okay, now here I have a product. So I'm going to expand that as a sum, the law of the logs. So I'm gonna have the natural log of the first part of my product, which is x to the fourth. And notice I have a square root here. That is going to be the power of one half. So I'm just gonna write that as plus the natural log of x squared plus three raised to the one half power. And then of course I have my minus ln x plus three to the fifth power. In each case, I have an exponent that can come out front. So I'm going to write this as four times the natural log of x plus one half the natural log of x squared plus three minus five times the natural log of x plus three. Now you might be tempted because you can see that here I have x squared you might be tempted to bring that two out front, or you might be tempted to write this as the natural log of x squared plus the natural log of three. But remember, it's the product that we can expand. And we do not have a product here, we have a sum. And this x squared is part of the expression x squared plus three, so we can't separate that out. So we just have to leave it like this. Now, in our next problem, we have again a quotient. So I'm going to expand that as a difference. So the numerator, I'm taking now the log of the numerator, which is 1000 x cubed times cube root of five minus x. And I'm going to subtract from that the log of the denominator, which is three times x plus seven squared. Now this first term here is, I've got a product of three pieces here to multiply together. So I'm going to expand those as log 1000 plus log x cubed plus, and I'm gonna write this cube root of five minus x as a power of one-third. So I have log of five minus x to the one-third power minus, now I'm subtracting this whole thing. So I'm gonna use parentheses to show that I'm subtracting that whole thing. And then I'm taking the log of a product. So I'm gonna write that as the sum of the logs. So I have log three plus log x plus seven squared. Then I could go ahead and distribute this negative. Remember log of 1000, the exponent, the base is 10. Here I have 1000, so the exponent is three. Here I'm gonna bring the three out front by the power rule. I get three log x plus this power is gonna come out front also, one third log five minus x. And then I'm going to distribute this negative. I get minus log three. And here I have that two is coming out front, plus I'm gonna distribute that negative, so it's minus two log x plus seven. Now let's see if I can simplify that any further. Um, 
I think I'm just going to leave it there because I don't see any way I can simplify it. Here we have a difference, but remember, it's the log of a quotient that I can expand. I can't expand the log of a difference. I just have to leave it as a difference. And here, same thing. I have a sum inside the log. I can only expand it if I had a product inside the log. So everything here looks good.